St. Thomas from the Sports and Fitness Center at the University of the Virgin Islands, Eastern Michigan and Arkansas, are ready to battle it out for the title of Paradise Jam champion. 6'5", with that wingspan, tough to throw around, he and Brewer. Brewer the steal, going in all along, and throws it down for the opening score of the championship game. That's the one thing. They're out on the floor. 6'8", uh, he can put it down and get it to the rim. And he gets off a three. That and defensively as well. We'll see how he holds up. Richard Sullivan gets the roll on the turnaround. You know, Larry, that's really the only excuse. Michigan continues to change defenses. They're in a man-to-man -man now. Brewer will try the three, and he sticks it. He's got that unorthodox form, but he got that one. The ball up slowly, and you've got to find some way to get across quickly enough to beat that 10 seconds. They didn't that time. Monica, the beautiful take and finish. 9-5. Here's Towns. Out of the post. Quick release from Ferguson. Oh, he's got it going this weekend in St. Thomas. Gets that 1-3-1. Nice pass inside. Thomas making room and putting it home. Well, he's another one of those. Michigan with the basketball down by four. 10.35 to play. Pocket pick. Ronnie Brewer looking for his second throwdown. He's got it. And the Razorbacks lead it 20 to 14. What a terrific. 1-3-1 one, one trap so far. Michael Jones. He can hit that. That's the one he wants. Strokes the three. How about that move? Jones high for the rebound. This time, Famatimi hits the three. 26-16 with nine minutes to play in the first half. A race for Brewer. All the way across to Famatimi. Wide open three, Ferguson. Oh, he's automatic. You know, at some point, you're there because Arkansas has been very hot in this tournament to be on a three-point strike. They are five for eight today from beyond the arc, and they'll try their ninth and hit it six for nine. That is Dante Jefferson. Wants to go to work on the freshman. Fakes up. Oh, rejected by Towns helping out. And a foul in the screen. And here is Jefferson. How do you leave Ferguson alone? Three for three from beyond the arc. There's Austin on it. Put a little more size out there. Towns, good interior pass. And Monica scores. Breaking ahead is Garrett. He leaked out. Look out. Hammers it down ahead of Stephen Hill. Set for Towns. On top, Hill. Good pass down low for Brewer, who finishes. And the foul. Arkansas having their way with Eastern Michigan. I'll tell you. Outed out front by Harris. Down low, Monica. Oh, the strength, a post-up guard, but look out. They picked their spot to where they wanted to trap. Arkansas does the th same thing, except they've got a one-man point. 13 points now for Garrett. Famatimi hits the three, falling out of bounds. Ross almost lost it, only three seconds to get it across. Eastern Michigan's got to hurry. They get it, but knocked away. They hit ahead for Ferguson, ahead of the pack. And he puts it down. That looked like a cavalry charge. <laughs> we need somebody to come off and give us some energy, some push. And you're the guy that I want to do that. And uh, it looks like Eric Ferguson has accepted that role willingly. Another chance. You know, in some ways, having the green light right off the bench, he may score more points in this role. Oh, that is a tough shot for Ronnie Brewer. Jones doesn't need 10 seconds, but way off the mark there. Four seconds left, Garrett bringing it across midcourt. Checks the clock, fakes and fires and hits. How much better can Daryl Garrett play? The freshman from Detroit gives Eastern Michigan the last word in the first half. 53-36 though, as Arkansas has dominated throughout. Coming Seven up. points. Here's Brewer. Oh, the lob inside Richard Sullivan. Well, Brewer threw a couple of those against Troy State. That was a beauty as well. Lost to the baseline. Oh, in among the trees, gets denied. They're on the run again. Up ahead for Monica, lays it home. And the Razorbacks are up 57-38. Just... 
Drive to the baseline, opens wide up for the baseline jumper. Monaco rattles it down. Well, he's the one guy that's got the good mid-range jump shot. You just cannot ignore him. Hands to Brewer. Brewer draws a crowd. Jefferson fires a three. Yes, Dante Jefferson. It just... And for Eastern Michigan, James Jackson spinning inside. Garrett follows it home off glass. 18 off the bench. It's a 6-0 Eastern Michigan run. Men's championship game in the Paradise Jam has always gone down to the last shot. Last can't get the roll. Jackson the follow. Well, all of a sudden, this Arkansas team has quit rebounding and defending. And Eastern Michigan... Ten minutes left. Ronnie Brewer. Eric Ferguson strokes another one. He's five for seven from the field. And a low for Brewer. Big size advantage on McElhenney. He uses it, but can hit. Ferguson, the offensive rebound, puts it up and in. The smallest player on the floor. Bamatimi, the pull-up. Hill puts it back off glass. Great stick back. That's the advantage. Knew he missed the back cut. Now Ferguson with two on the shot clock. Hill's got to go. Doesn't know, but Thomas does and hits. That was not a shot. That was a shot put. He just threw it up there. High school. Can't get the free throw to go, but a 72. Thomas stole it. Oh, how about that? Opportunistic Charles Thomas. Four minutes to play. Brewer. First shot of the second half. You now, Mark, one of the things about Ron. Long rebound, and here comes Ferguson. Quickly up court. No look inside. Brewer squeezes it up and in. Here's Ferguson. Seven on the shot clock. Into the lane. Scoops it up and in with a left. Is it too late to tabulate those... 82-64, Arkansas is the 2004 Paradise Jam champion. Hope you've enjoyed it here on Fox College Sports. We'll be back for the championship trophy presentation.